one of five handicapped debutants as they assembled down at the start. A couple of minutes to race time, and let's rejoin Gordon and Dan. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Um, yeah, just coming this going change, it was changed after the first... Um, we thought it was softish anyway, mm. it's now officially soft. Yeah, and uh, that's... I mean, it was always going to be on the... You were looking for horses that were effective in the mud. Certainly, that's confirmation of it, that it's soft now, after the jock jockeys have ridden the first couple of races. And that's one thing you say about a lot of this field. I'm not sure conditions will be a big deal for most of them. Maybe Never No Trouble, who's an ex-flat horse, it might blunt her, but by and large, these have got form in soft ground anyway. We can tackle the favourite Bonte and, and Jane de Berley in, in one hit, so to speak. They've both been in winning form, and if you go back a couple of runs, um, actually Jane de Berley finished in front of Bonte. Yeah, there wasn't much between them. Interesting race to read, actually, because Bonte could not live with Jane de Berley's initial turn of foot on the run-in. Looked like Jane de Berley might win by clear air, but Bonte got rolling late on and was just denied. Cheap pieces are on. Mm. She's back in trip. She's since won and been second again. Second to that good horse, Havari, of of Ollie Murphy's, he's maybe dropping back in distance, but certainly she'll need to jump more fluently. She's to be every bit as effective, but she's one of a few who had good level of bumper form. In fact, she had the best bumper form of all of these, and I think have been given fair marks by the handicapper. There are five or six of these, certainly, mm. Gordon, where if they won, you're in no way surprised. The, the, the exceptions may be the likes of Dime Store, Cowgirl, who's been doing it in handicaps already mm. and never no trouble, but certainly those towards the top end of the weights look like their handicap marks are fairly generous. I thought Autumn Return might well run well because she won at Catrick at the turn of the year and last time she finished second to Mamie's Magic who was going well when hampered at Muscle yeah, yesterday. Yeah, unfortunately like yesterday for Mamie's Magic who was on a hat-trick yesterday and luck deserted her. Autumn Return finished second, struggled for a turn of foot late on, did win a bumper this mare, she obviously trained by Ruth Jefferson, we mentioned the ill luck with Sounds Russian. Um, I didn't think she jumped, jumped great under pressure, but she's still a work in progress. We're dealing with a mare that's had only five goals over hurdles. She's entitled to still be improving, and when she won that bumper on a debut, I thought she'd rate higher than 113 over hurdle. Time to go back to Gareth then for race three. Coming in, maybe a little too quickly indeed. So... Jane Duberlay just whizzing round there at the start. She'll have to come in a little steadier. They're off and at racing for the Bet Victor Herring Queen Series final. Mayor's Novice's handicap hurdle to be run over two miles and towards the first flight with Midnight Shuffle showing out in the lead here by just over a length. But to never know trouble, the black, white and orange colours, that's a colour alteration with down the outside Jane Duberlay. Racing next is Dime Store Cowgirl as they're on the approach to flight number one. The favourite Bonte is next as they cross the first, at which in third place Never No Trouble lacked fluency, but they're all safely across. Midfield early on for the best turned out winner Walk of No Shame, who races ahead of Not Now Linda, the yellow sleeves and cap, and Autumn return in amongst those. The back marker early on is La Silla Blue. There would be around about 10 lengths covering first to last as they head into the home straight at what looks a fair gallop towards the second and third flights of hurdles. And it is Midnight Shovel who picks up ahead and was slightly more fluent across it than Jane Duberlay. With back in behind them, Dime Store Cowgirl, and at the inside, Never No Trouble, Bonte races next. Then towards the inside is Walk of No Shame. Not now, Linda, away to the far left, the yellow sleeves and cap. Autumn return back with her, and Lucilla Blue is the back marker under Connor O'Farrell as they race on now towards the third flight. This will be their last after another circuit, and it is Midnight Shovel. She's won a bumper here. Can she win a race over hurdles here? She again out jumps Jane Duberlay, who just clattered the top of it. She runs in second. And then towards the inside is Never No Trouble in the sheepskin noseband with Dime Store Cowgirl for company and wider out of them Bonte under Paddy Brennan, his only ride here this afternoon. Walk of No Shame is towards the inside of Autumn Return and then Not Now Linda and finally La Silla Blue. About to make the left-handed turn into the back straight and on towards the halfway stage of the Bet Victor Herring Queen series final. 
And with the lead, it is Midnight Shuffle in an attempt to make all of the running here. From Jane Duberlay, who's kept close tabs on her throughout. Then along the inside is Never No Trouble as they skip on over the first going down the back. And Jane Duberlay's jumping at the moment and not proving uh, all that polished as they race on towards the next flight going down the back. In the pink colour jacket, Bonte is beginning to ease a little closer. She has her head slightly to one side, but she's travelling well as they now come down towards a flight at number five. And it will be Midnight Shuffle from Jane Duberlay, who was better there, and on the outside, Bonte, with uh, up in behind them, Never No Trouble. Not now, Linda is on the move towards the outside as they prepare to turn left-handed once again out of the back straight. In behind runners goes Autumn Return. Walk of No Shame is now being ridden along ahead of Lucilla Blue and at Dying Store Cowgirl now dropping back to last place as Midnight Shuffle is up and over the third flight from home with the lead and again at that flight Never No Trouble made a mistake, a more serious one that time. Bonte now a real thorn in Midnight Shuffle's side as they're about to swing left-handed back towards home. Staying on into third is Not Now Linda who looks far from out of it. Back in fourth a further four lengths adrift is Autumn Return ahead of Lucilla Blue, a weakening Jane Duberlay and then at the back end of the field Walk of No Shame and Never No Trouble. They're in line for home and down towards the second last flight midnight shuffle in the red bonte in the pink and away to the outside not now linda trying to join in under bridget andrews a little break off those two autumn return as they make the long run in between the final two flights of hurdles and it is now bonte who moves on bonte's gone to the front to in second position at midnight shuffle not now linda back in third is keeping on a little break remains to autumn return in fourth place still with her head slightly to one side but going forward importantly it is Bonte with the lead at the last. Bonte, good jump and clear to in second place on touching down Midnight Shuffle. Not now Linda back in third. Then Autumn Return and Lucilla Blue. And racing into the closing stage is Bonte out in the lead here. She's never finished out of the first two. And she wins a valuable prize here at Kelso today. Bonte scores for Fergal O'Brien and Paddy Brennan. Beating Midnight Shuffle within behind them. Not now Linda, Autumn Return and Lucilla Blue. Good performance by Bonte, who's eased down in the closing stages. She's three from four in bumper. She's now two from four over hurdles, and that's a valuable prize. The cheek pieces obviously work today. She goes on to beat the long-time leader, Midnight Shuffle, with not no Linda back in third. Yeah, it did better of the skeleton pair, as we anticipated, but this... ...feature of the afternoon, the Broughton Hall Estates... Handicap hurdle. I'm going to check on the betting market. Sees the Tanganyika at 15 to 8. Shading favouritism ahead of Jungle Jack. With there is no doubt at 6 to 1 and 7 to 1 on Publique. Our best turned out winner. It's 11 to 1 Elmer Chasho. 12 to 1 King's Keeper. Manila Trump. The outside of the field here at 16 to 1. Runners well on their way to post for the Broughton Hall Estates handicap hurdle. Runners will soon be arriving at the post for the feature of the afternoon, the Broughton Hall Estates Handicap Hurdle over a trip just short of uh, two and a half miles. Manila Trump returning to action here in the yellow with the, uh, the grey sleeves. Got the blue cap, two runners in the race for uh, Tim Leslie. Gailey Coast, the third of his uh, representatives, is a, a non-runner, but still has two. Jungle Jack wears the pink cap, Manila Trump the blue cap. Manila Trump has been in fantastic form in the last 18 months, won eight of his last nine starts, and he does go particularly well at Perth. He's uh, won six times there at uh, the track from six starts. He returns to action here after a break, and he's back over hurdles. His last uh, seven wins have all been over fences. And that is Manila Trump, and uh, Jungle Jack's got the big white face, the pink cap. Jungle Jack ridden by Brian Hughes for Donald McCain, and uh, Jungle Jack is in good form himself, second in his last two starts, but he's got a good record over hurdles, four from seven to date. There is no doubt is the Scottish Raider, Maroon with the white sleeves, the Maroon star, second Newcastle last time. And Tanganyika, an interesting runner for Venetia Williams, yard back in form this week. And where's the green with the yellow stars, yellow sleeves with green stars, former French runner, and uh, made his first win in this country at Carlisle last time. He's seven pounds higher today. El Machacho has been in good form. El Machacho has won a couple of times this season at Plumpton Catrick. Below par at Kelso last time, but that was a hot race. 
King's Keeper was a good winner two outings ago at Foss last, but he too was uh, not at his best last time, but he represents the inform Kerry Lee. Last check on the market, Jungle Jack and Tangan Yukon out nine to four each of two, five to one on Publique, well backed, sevens there is no doubt, tens King's Keeper and El Muchacho and sixteens Minella Trump. Started walking over towards his rostrum. Starters raise the flag, runners about to walk forward for our feature. Runners walking forward at the two mile, three and a half furlong start for our feature of the afternoon. And off. It's the Broughton Hall Estates handicap hurdle. They race over a trip just short of two and a half miles and 11 flights of hurdles to take. And on the approach towards the first, which is just on the run out towards the far side of the track, prominent is There Is No Doubt. And uh, with the big white face on the inside is Jungle Jack. Out wide is King's Keeper. Just behind them is Tanganyika as they clear the first. El Muchacho, the grey, was the last to take it as they head on towards Numbers two and three over in the back straights. There is no doubt. The oldest runner in the lineup at 10 years of age cuts out the early running from King's Keeper and Jungle Jack. And close up on the inside on Publique in the white cheek pieces alongside Tanganyika, the green and yellow. And then follows Manella Trump on the outside and the back marker is just El Muchacho as they press on towards flight number three. There is no doubt cutting out the pace under Jack Tudor. Leads King's Keeper by just about a length with a length and a half back to Jungle Jack on the inside rail as they cross their third flight of hurdles. And again, they're all over it safely. They spin left-handed, head towards the numbers four and five in the straight. This Broughton Hall Estates handicap hurdle, there is no doubt, makes the running and shows from King's Keeper with the Jungle Jack, one of two in the lineup here for Tim Leslie and Donald McCain. Pink cap for Jungle Jack, Manella Trump. In the blue cap, held up on the outside of runners, Tanganyika, the Carl R scorer, is midfield. And then there's a length away to on public. And El Muchacho, patiently ridden, is the back marker of the seven strong field as they take the first of two in the straight. No problems there. And cutting out the running is there is no doubt. The Scottish Raider leading from King's Keeper with close up against the fence, Jungle Jack. Brian Hughes looking for a quick double on the card. Tanganyika is next in the hands of Charlie Deutsch, the youngster of the party at five years of age. Tanganyika and the winner at Carlisle last time out. Close up on Publique has won the best turned out award. Looking for a fifth hurdle success today. And then Manella Trump has been in such a rich vein of form in the last 18 months. He's put together eight wins from the last nine starts. Last seen in action winning the Perth Gold Cup over fences last midsummer. His last seven wins have all been over the larger obstacles. He does hold an entry in the Grand National. Back over the, the smaller ones today, and he's held up on the outside at this stage. Elmer Chacho is the back marker of the group under Mitch Bastian, and they make this long run towards the next flight of hurdles, number six. There's been no change up front. There's, there is no doubt showing the way to the others. King's keeper in close attendance under Liam Harrison. 
And sticking to the inside is Jungle Jack. Stablemates Manoa Trump is kept wide behind Tanganyika, who's just been pulled to the outside of King's Keeper as they go over this next flight of hurdles. On the Chacho, the last to rise, but they're well grouped, barely five lengths covering the whole party as they take a left hander out towards the far side, and they have five more flights of hurdles to take. There is no doubt, with an unhurried lead out in front, shows from in second King's Keeper. Jungle Jack is third, Tanganyika shades fourth. From on public, it's just moved off the fence on the Chacho. Close up on the inside, hunting up Jungle Jack and Minella Trump, the top weight towards the outer. Making their journey over on the far side of the course. And this will be five from home. They're very well bunched. There is no doubt King's Keeper, the wide racing Tanganyika with the Jungle Jack just to clip the top bar there, but didn't lose any ground. Close up El Muchacho on the inside of the pink cap of on public. And Minella Trump is last. A couple of lengths behind the main body, but still travelling well as they race then towards the last four flights of hurdles. There is no doubt, has made every yard so far. King Keeper over in second. A mistake from Minella Trump at the back of the field as they press on towards three from home. It is their own no doubt, so bidding to make every yard from King's Keeper. Jungle Jack's always been on the inside rail alongside Tanganyika. Length then to on public, nickled along. And then follows Elmer Chacho and Minella Trump at the back of the field. They've jumped the third from home. Uh, they've got about three furlongs to travel as they swing the corner and head towards the last two flights of hurdles. There is no doubt from Jungle Jack, who moves through to be within half a length in second, just coming under a ride, Tanganyika towards the outside of On Public, who's bang there on the inside rail. And close up behind them, King's Keeper, that leading group of five, are two lengths ahead of El Muchacho, and then Manila Trump. They race then towards two from home. Jungle Jack with a big white face moves through to take over from There Is No Doubt, and then follows on Public. They jump two from the finish, and it was Jungle Jack over safely. Now the best part of three lengths clear. There is no doubt on Public, and running on from the back of the field, El Muchacho is next as they head towards the final flight. Jungle Jack, Brian Hughes by four lengths, approaching the final flight of hurdles. Jungle Jack at the last. He cleared it beautifully on Public to it in second, El Muchacho third, there is no doubt next, but heading into the final half furlong, and this will go the way of Jungle Jack, Brian Hughes, and uh, Donald McCain double up and take the afternoon's feature, on public was second, back in third place, El Muchacho, and in fourth there is no doubt lengths going over the first flight taken down the back straight they all jumped it safely enough love is golden wasn't that fluent as he now approaches the third flight of hurdles love is golden with this clear advantage goes over the Come through to lead now, totally charming and William Buick looking for a double on Oaks Day and totally charming clearing away. Lerado Revich giving chase with Boland Park and Fantastic Fox, but totally charming just holding on a bit in the closing stages, but we'll get there. Totally charming for Revich, Fantastic Fox in third, running on for... 
the journey on to the final furlong up ahead. It is Flyaway Dream. Latam on the left is breezing up to join Flyaway Dream. They've met before these two. Latam came out on top when they did meet before and strikes the front now with half a furlong to go. He looks to be doing it fairly easily as well, Latam. He's a nice prospect. He gives away the weight and Latam's two from two. And it's a double on the day for Danny Tudhope. Beam Cosmic Vegas sent for home from current option. Emporio is on the outside. Then Miss Mary Bell, laugh if you want, folds inside the final 200 yards. And it's Cosmic Vega and Ronan Whedon up the hill. Three cleared of Emporio and current option. And Miss Mary Bell, they're going towards the line. Cosmic Vega will last it out by diminishing three parts from Emporio and current option. Star Harbour is making ground, Fastnet ground the far side with Comfort Line and that's just Dandy poking in as good heavens. Federal is making ground on the outside with Manassip and Pierre Lappin and Casanova, it's wide open. Good heavens from Table Companion, Federal on the near side, Star Harbour in between them and it's Federal from off the page to lift the penny power and it's Cambridge. Side. Totally Charming has come through to lead now. Totally Charming and William Buick looking for a double on Oaks Day and Totally Charming clearing away. Lorado Revic giving chase with Boland Park and Fantastic Fox but Totally Charming just holding on a bit in the closing stages but we'll get there. Totally Charming for Revic. Fantastic Fox in third running on for the journey on to the final furlong up ahead it is flyaway dream latam on the left is breezing up to join flyaway dream they've met before these two latam came out on top when they did meet before and struck